Hey guys, hello. My <laughs> mic is a goofball. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Hello everybody. Um first things first, if you um I'm checking my messages, you guys. Um if you uh if this is your part, very first video, <laughs> Uh, make sure that you click on subscribe and that you also hit the bell for notifications. We go live almost every night. Nights that I cannot go live, I do make sure that I pre-record a video and we do uh, show it as a premiere. So every single day you are going to have something brand spanking new and fun. And it's all going to be about um, mindset and building your business and building your brand and um, and furthering yourself as a person and growing into uh, this person that is that is able to really take on the world and not in like a weird way, right? Take on the world in in a way that uh, supports yourself, supports your family, supports your dreams, right? So uh, today we are talking about how to transform your greatest weakness or your weak, your biggest weakness, your biggest failure, your big, biggest weakness into your greatest strength. Okay, this is something, this is a line that Bob says a lot. Time out. Oh, we don't have the tea. Are you out of tea? I'm out of tea. Would you like something else? Oh my gosh. You no. want one of my teas? I don't like your tea. Okay. Oh, shoot. What do we do, you guys? <laughs> yeah, we're just stuck. Do you want some iced tea? All right. Okay. Okay. We'll do iced tea. A uh, little, bit, little bit of stevia in there, please, okay. sir. Thank you. Um, I ran out of my Tazo tea, and this is really sad because now I have <laughs> – you guys, can you tell how sad I am right now? <laughs> this, like – so at the end of the night, at the end of every day, um, whenever Nora goes to bed, Mike and I sit on the couch and we watch Modern Family uh, or something, you know, that just is like a decompressed time. Um, and, and I'm, I sit there and I drink my tea with my little, my little Tazo tea and I don't get to tonight, but anywho. Okay. Uh, let's see, Carrie. Hey, Hey Carrie, I am going to reach out to you. You know, I'm going to reach out to you just so you know. Um, it's just been, my sister has been in town. It was my mom's birthday. I'll give you all the excuses, but I'll be reaching out tomorrow. Okay. Don, good evening all. Well, hello, Don. Toby. Hi. Hey, Toby. Nancy, hello. I'm reaching out to you also, Nancy, and also Sarah, if she's on. Um, Katie, are you live? I'm not getting the feed. No, and I wasn't, and then I was, and then you said okay, and then there I was. Uh, Paige, yes. <laughs> Mildred, hey. Hello, Mildred. Carrie, we got to extreme lengths to make sure we never run out of coffee. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. It's almost like I put a label, a little... <laughs> um, <laughs> this family is goofy, you guys. Um, Carrie, no worries. Thanks. Of course, Cecilia. Hello from Florida. Hello. Nancy gave me the cute little smiley face. Well, you guys, tonight, let's go ahead and talk about how to fail forward. Uh, it was something, I think Sarah mentioned it earlier on a video today. It, it was today. It was when I was talking to Nancy this morning, I believe. And uh, we did a, um, in Gold Getters, in the Facebook group, Gold Getters, which most of you guys already know about. Um, if you're a Young Living um, distributor, then make sure that you get over to that group. That group is lit, y'all, so lit. Um, I was talking to, ooh, this tea is good. I was talking to uh, Nancy this morning, and we were doing a real-life results video on um, Diamond Lane and what Diamond Lane does. And... Uh, I was talking about how I had gone through mistake, mistake, mistake. Well, mistake, success, mistake, mistake, success, 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 mistake, mistake, success, success, um, all of that stuff. Uh, and that is how I ended up coming up with my system. It wasn't because I did it all right the first time around. 
right? It was because I had failures and then I failed forward is what I call it. So I learned from my failure and then I made it better the next time around. There's never ever a failure in life, you guys. It's just an opportunity. You just look into it. What did you learn about that situation? So it didn't work. What did you learn so you can make it work the next time? So many people have try something and let's say in Young Living, let's say in business period, right? They try to do a business and then maybe they fail right away, but then they, then they define themselves as a failure and then, and then they just stop instead of looking at, okay, well, what were the factors there? Why do I think this failed? What else can I try? The people that end up succeeding and the people that end up winning are going to be the people that look at what happened and try again 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 until they finally get to something that works, right? Now, I have definitely, definitely shortened the learning curve on what works for a young living business, right? Like I've absolutely 100% shorten the learning curve on, on what works for a young living business. Like we, we know it's a system now. So, so that is how you take your greatest weakness and you turn it into the, um, the greatest, uh, your greatest asset, quite frankly, the, the thing that you're not good at, what you do is whenever you're not good at it, you just keep doing it. And you see, like you, you break apart your variables, right? So what is the one thing that works? Because you'll always see a, a part of the situation. I'm trying my best not to be ambiguous, but you'll, you'll always see a part of the situation that was like, okay, that was working. People like that, that seemed to work really well. And then we got to this point. And when we got to this point, that went sideways. And, and so that is the point that we, that's your leaky bucket is what I call it. So basically you have, if we can visualize this, we have um, a, a series of fountains, okay? So you have your lead. Let's just call it, we won't even call it a leaky bucket. So you have a funnel. This is a funnel. I'm at the top of the funnel, right? This is a funnel. Um, and your, your leads and everything, we'll just talk about young living business right now. Um, your leads and everything come into the top of the funnel, right? And then they work their way down the funnel. Well, there's different situa there's different parts that they work their way down to, right? So there's the there's the um, the getting their attention in the first place. That's the very first step. So when you get their attention, now you've got a bunch of people right here. Well, if you can't really get their attention, that's the leaky part of your funnel, and it's the very first part of your funnel. So nothing else is going to work, right? Because you have it. This part really matters. You know, my ring is going to fall off. This keto is going to make me lose all my jewelry. Um, so uh, <laughs> hashtag keto made me lose my jewelry. <laughs> um, so at the very top, that's where that's that's your first step. That's bringing people in. If you can't bring people in, that's the leaky part of your funnel. Now, the next step is having that consultative conversation with them. So and then you've got little steps in there. Right. So this is a system. Right. Um so then in there, you're looking at uh, the beginning of the conversation. Were they with you? Were they talking to you? Awesome. The second part of the conversation, were they with you? Were they talking to you? Awesome. The third part of the conversation, were they with you? Were they talking to you or were they gone? Were they, did they ghost you? Did they ghost you at some part of that conversation? You guys, if you get ghosted a lot on a certain part of the conversation, that's your leaky funnel. Something is happening wrong. Something is being miscommunicated in that conversation. And you guys, I have the conversation cheat sheet that's in uh, Go for Gold. Um, that is that. Uh, what I did is I did this same stuff that I'm talking about right now. I did this same stuff in order to create that conversation cheat sheet. I had hundreds 
thousands, I'm sure, of conversations. Some of them led to a sale and a lot of them did not lead to a sale. So what I did is I analyzed the data because that's what I do because I'm a big nerd, you guys. So I analyzed the data and then I'm like, okay, so this people were with me. They were with me. They were with me. I lost them, right? One of the places where I was losing people, <laughs> so funny. One of the places where I was losing people is when I sent a message that was this long. And then strangely enough, nobody would respond to me. <laughs> so I imagine they felt very copy and pasted to, right? I imagine they felt very like, oh Lord, this is, oh my goodness, you know, like the eye roll and then whatever next. Um, that was probably the, that was probably the sensation they were having. So, um, but I, like I said, I analyzed a lot of conversations and then I got it into the stuff that works, the meat and the stuff that works, right? And that's, that, that's part of that whole conversation cheat sheet. So if you get to a part of that conversation that you're having with people and you, if you think you're following the conversation cheat sheet, I'm doing this, wink, wink, nudge, nudge because rarely do I actually see people doing the full conversation cheat sheet. A lot of times people will say, well, I'll do this part and I'll do that part, but I'm gonna leave this part off. If you find in your data and in your own analysis of what you're doing in your conversations, if you're finding that ghosting happening after you drop off of what I suggest on that conversation cheat sheet, wink, wink, that's your leaky funnel, okay? Do the conversation, do the thing. I've already proven it. I've already proven the data. I've already proven the results. Don't try to change it. Um, make it your own, make the words your own, make it sound like you, but don't change the framework of it because it works. So don't do that, right? Um, and then next, you have your conversation. So there's a few parts in that conversation that could be your leaky funnel, right? And then after your conversation, then you have, and I'm not going to get into all of it because that's giving away the course, but after that conversation, then you have a number of different things that you do in the system itself, where if you lose track of people, if they stop talking, or if you reach back out to them and they start ghosting you at these different points in the, in the process, that's where the leak happens. So you need to address where those leaky spots are and, and really look at what you're doing in those positions that are, um, that are making people not be in the emotional state um, ready to purchase, okay? Does that make sense, you guys? Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. Let me see who is saying stuff. Carrie, yes, learn all the lessons. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Sean. Hey, Sean. Hi, Cecilia. I'm in Florida, too. Oh, man, all the Florida peeps. I'm going to be down in Florida the end of March, beginning of April, but we're going to be at Disney World. So who is near Disney World? Maybe we should have a meet and greet. Um, Sarah, only break the rules if your deviation works. Yes, exactly. A hundred percent. Yes. I never in life say only do it my way, but if you're going to do it another way, that's totally cool, but only do it if it works. Try it a few times. If it's working for you, awesome. If it's not working for you, don't, don't just be hard headed about it because that's not going to grow your business. What you need to do in your business is you need to take your ego out, set it to the side because it is not about you, right? It's about their experience. It's about what is happening with them. It's a, it's, it's all about them. It does. Who cares what you think about things? <laughs> um, let's see, Dawn, two hours. Oh, wait, have you tried new tropics? I have not tried new tropics. Um, Dawn, two hours away from Orlando. Oh, that's cool. Katie Lynn. Yeah. As my, oh, wait. Sean, come to South Florida, but I will come to Orlando if you will be there. I will be in Orlando the very end of March and the beginning of April. I promise. I promise. 
and maybe we'll hang out in Orlando before we come back. So like we're, we'll be at Disney world for like, I don't know, seven days or something. And then maybe we'll spend an extra day just in Orlando to do like a meet and greet or something like that. Isn't Bush gardens down there. Um, cause that would be fun. Uh, Caitlin. Yeah. As my red, my passion comes out and I verbally vomit. Got to slow the process down and still be efficient. That's it. You, okay. Yes. Um, slowing people down is controlling the conversation. And that's absolutely what we need to do. There's a good time and a good place for like being passionate and being like the hype girl, which is kind of what I am by nature. There's a good time for that. Um, and that's in promo. But whenever you're having the consultative conversation, that is not the wham, bam. That's not the time for that. If I'm in a consultative conversation with you, if I'm talking to you, my voice lowers. My voice lowers. My voice gets slower. I connect with you. And I'm going to talk to you about what you're expecting to see in your situation. What solution are we looking for? And that's whether it's products for Young Living or if it's coaching or whatever it is. But I'm not, there's the hype and the woo, like that is the lead. That's like to bring people in and to get passionate and really get people to understand that this is the solution, right? But whenever I'm talking to people, real talk, when it's me and them, it, I always slow it down. It always gets into a place of, okay, cool. Now, now you've told me X, Y, and Z that you want to take care of or that you're, that you're um, concerned about, right? Are there any other things that you're concerned about? Because I want to make sure that we get the right thing for you. I can't do that in a hype way. You cannot do that in a hype way, right? Or in a fast talking way. Fast talking in this scenario scares the snot out of people and they will run the other way super quick. And so then they would tell me whatever else they were concerned with or what what things that they're wanting to like, maybe they want to detox their home or something. And I would be like, awesome, cool. So based on what you've said, I would suggest X, Y, and Z. And it would be for this reason. And then there's a couple different ways that we can do this. Let me know. And it's, and it's all, it's about me and it's about them because I'm building a relationship with them. I'm connecting with you and I can't connect here. Here I can't really connect. Here I'm excited and I'm kind of like flying in my balloon and I'm doing all the things and I'm like, it's a very passionate state, but I can't come down heart space and connect. Do you see what I'm saying? Does that make sense to you guys? Like it's, you ha I have to slow down to be able to connect. If I'm talking too fast, I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm, I mean, I, I do speak from my heart whenever I'm talking fast, but I can't, I can't really give you what you need so far as attention from me whenever I'm up here and all jazzed. Does that make sense? I hope you guys, I hope that makes sense, you guys. Um, okay, let's see. Cecilia, that conversation cheat sheet rules. <laughs> I've used it Spanish several times. Love the leaky funnel concept. Easy to visualize. That's exactly it. That's it. Um, and I love that you love the conversation cheat sheet. I, I just love it. Sean, yes, send info. Bush Gardens is Tampa. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where things are, you guys. <laughs> Is that, I'm a little embarrassed, but I don't know where things are. Um, Dawn, yes, Tampa, close to there. Okay, Sarah, the tricky thing is that a deviation may work with one person, but not for another. Knowing your people to attempt to anticipate the outcome is key. A hundred percent. Dawn Bush Gardens, come. Katie, thank you for validating that. I did it wrong for so long. Hey, a lot of people have. It's not just you. Do not feel bad. It is not just you. It's uh, We had been taught wrong for a really long time. It's not your fault. Um, Carrie, good point, Sarah. Sarah, Bush Gardens is in Kissimmee. Kissimmee? <laughs> I'm just going to embarrass myself on camera for as long as possible. When does your voice ever lower? <laughs> 
My voice lowers whenever I'm talking to, not when I'm on video usually, uh, except for just a couple minutes ago. But um, my voice lowers when I talk to people, like when when we are getting into real stuff, when we're getting into stuff that is like life changing stuff. That's where I get real. That's I get real real quick. Um, because my yeah, my persona, my like excitedness. Uh, does not translate to real all the time. Like it's like whenever you're, whenever you come down and you get heart to heart with somebody, you can't be all up like that. It's just, it doesn't, it's, you can't. Um, Sean Bush Gardens is about one and a half hours from Orlando. Oh, okay. Carrie, so passionate to attract them, then slow it down when presenting the solution. Yes, a hundred percent. That's the way that I do it. That's the way that I do it. Um, I'm extremely passionate because people are, well, because I'm passionate in the first place, but um, because people are attracted to confidence and to passion and momentum and all of the things that we have to offer. Right. Um, and then, and then whenever we're, we're presenting the solution, we do it in a, we do it in a calm way, in a way that they, and here's, here's what it really is in a way that they can process. Cause have you ever had somebody or me, on a video being like, ah, and you can't necessarily process what's happening, right? Like you can kind of process it, but if we're talking about something serious and life-changing, I need to be 100% sure that the person is able to process. And I think that that really comes, for me anyway, I think that that really comes from me having an older mom. So my mom had me when she was 40. So I have always been around older people and not that, I mean, now I'm 39, so to say older people, <laughs> but like, you know, I mean, I was 12 and everybody around me was like in their fifties. Right. So I know I, I do speak more slowly and intentionally whenever I'm talking to older people. Um, and whenever I just need to get my point across in a succinct way that is not confusing to somebody, then I, then I, then I get very clear with it. But if I were to be all over the place, some people just don't get it, right? And I need to be 100% sure that they get it. Um, let's see. Sarah, if you scare the snot out of them, offer sniffles. <laughs> Kitty Lynn, yes, makes so much sense. Good. Sean, funny, Sarah, I called out my elephant in the room today at my corporate job. Works so well. Oh, man. Sarah, oh, I don't know. I connect with your passion pretty well. There, there are people that connect with the passion too. I'm not going to say that they don't. You're right. Um, but 100% of the people are going to understand me when I lower. That's, I mean, maybe just because they're shocked <laughs> that I lowered it. But anywho, what questions do you guys have? Because I've already talked about what I was going to talk about. And that's really, you take that thing that thing that was uh, your Achilles heel, that thing that you messed up and you take, you, you break it into pieces. You see where the leaky part of that funnel of that concept was, and then you move forward fixing the leak. And then you may find that there's another leak as you move forward and then you fix that. And eventually what you're going to have is a fully functional funnel. That was a lot of words. Um, you're going to have a fully functional funnel at the end that completely works well. Okay. So that's, that is uh, any concept at all ever. You're going to be able to break it apart, see the parts that were messed up, fix them, see if that works and then continue moving forward. But if you fail and then say, Oh, I knew this wasn't going to work. How many people have done it? Oh, I knew that wasn't going to work. Right. Oh, I knew it. I knew this wasn't for me. I gave it a try, but I knew this wasn't for me. I knew that other people were going to be able to do this, but it just wasn't going to be for me. What you believe is true. Okay. Now, if you were me, the whole what would Martha do thing that people were talking about the other day that was cracking me up. If it were me and I failed at something, well, this is what I have done. When I failed at things, 
I looked at them, I learned my lesson and I moved forward and fixed it. And then sometimes I failed again. And then I looked at my problem, learned my lesson, moved forward and fixed it. And I kept doing that. And that's what you do. Resilience. That's it's being resilient. It's it's being confident enough in your own mission and in your own conviction to know, like you know, like you know, that this thing is going to be different. And you pick yourself up and you keep moving. As scared as you are, as as much as you're like, I don't know if this is for me. It looks like I could do this. I don't, it's not working. I don't know. Don't, don't let the people squawk in your ears. Don't let the, the people that don't see your vision squawk in your ears about, oh, that's that MLM thing. That's a pyramid, right? Like, first of all, let's get clear on pyramids. Everything's a pyramid. Okay. Churches are a pyramid. Amazon's a pyramid. Um, the government's a pyramid. Uh, any corporation is a pyramid. You think the CEO makes 10 bucks an hour? No, it's a pyramid. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's be very clear. Okay. It's a pyramid. And uh, so whenever you hear that stuff and then you believe it more than you believe in yourself and your own mission and your own conviction, guys, if you are feeling like like you can't do it anymore or like you are hitting a point of 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 like no return of quitting or something god forbid but sometimes we have bad days right if you hit that point go into gold getters and say it out loud say it out loud because everybody will rally around you and let and remind you get this of who you are okay let us all, who I'm tearing up. Let us all remind you of who you are. We're your friends. We are your support. We are the people that are locking arms in the same mission as you. You are us, right? We have a mission. We have a job and we are not going to stop just because we're scared, right? There are lots of people, there are lots of businesses, and there are lots of corporations that would love for us to quit doing what we're doing. We can't do it. We can't quit. We can't quit. We owe it to ourselves. We owe it to our families. We owe it to our friends. We owe it to our friends' families. We owe it to our friends' kids. We owe it to everybody to stay loud and proud about what we do. And it's okay to have a scared day. It's okay to have a down day. It's okay to have a day where you're just crying because you don't, because you don't know. And you're just like, it, it hasn't started picking up traction yet. And you're just, you're, you're scared, right? It's okay to have those days. Don't feel bad. If you have those days, oil up, pick yourself up the next day and start over again. Okay. It's not the end. It's just a bad day. <laughs> it's not the end, you guys. Um, okay. Sarah, this is why I need you. My business is the Titanic. <laughs> uh, Dawn, should I finish all the units before I move on to the next step or jump in? Let me see. Oh, are you talking about in gold getters? You should 100% take go for gold first. And then, so if you haven't, if you're just moving through the units right now, go to go for gold and take go for gold. Um, that's like, you can find the links for it all over the gold getters group. Um, do that. And then when you go back to the units, they're going to be much more fruitful and much more meaningful. Okay. It's they're intended for you to take go for gold first. Okay. I know it sounds weird based on the name. I get it. I can't change the name. <laughs> it just is what it is. Um, Sarah, tearing up. Heck, I'm bawling. You're a freaking godsend. I hope you know that and feel how appreciated you are. Oh, it's, I appreciate it. Thank you, Sarah. Um, it's just somebody has to speak this truth, right? Somebody has to speak this truth and have it be in a public forum, not just to their own team, 
we just need to be speaking it. We need to be speaking life over each other, period, period. That's, that's, that's what we need to be doing because without that, we have individuals, right? We have a bunch of individuals trying to build their individual businesses. But what we're doing is we're locking arms and it's not like an upline downline weird, you know, your boss employee, whatever sort of weird situation happened there. I don't even understand that at all, but um, that's we're, we're like cross, right? Like what Gary said, it's an us line. It's not a cross line. It's an us line. This is us, right? Bob, whenever he does his, um, uh, he, he does his in-person stuff, Bob, uh, Robert Tennyson Stevens, whenever he does his in-person stuff, what he likes to do is he likes to sit in a circle, right? And part of that is so he can see everybody because he does sacred body um, technique, sacred body language technique. But um, he, we sit in a circle and part of that is to be able to see everybody. But part of it is because everybody is equal in a circle, right? And that's the way that I like to see everything. We're all... There's nobody, even ranks and whatever. Listen, we're all doing the same thing. I don't give a rip what rank you are today. You're going to be a different rank next year. And you know what? I'm not going to care what it is then either because you're you and you're doing your thing and you're working the mission. And I don't give a rip what rank you are. I don't care. Royal Crown Diamonds come to me and they're like, well, you know, uh, talking about the training and, you know, uh, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And I'm like, that's totally cool. I think that they expect for me to have some sort of like, you know, curtsy to the Royal Crown Diamond right, royalty, right? And God bless them. There's nothing wrong with them. They're, that's that's great. But I don't curtsy to that, right? Like we're, we're, we, we are people. We're all people. I don't give a rip what rank you are. I could care less what rank you are, guys. This is, we're all doing this together. Now, from a strategic standpoint, it's wise to hit silver, gun for silver. Um, but aside from strategy, me and you, I do not look at you different. If you're a distributor and you haven't signed up one person, I do not look at you any different than like a Lindsay Teague, right? I don't look at you any different because we're all in different places in our journey, but we all have the same heart. That's what matters. I don't care about anything else. And I don't think anybody of us, any of us should care about anything else. But that's my own opinion. I'm not putting that on you. I'm just saying that's my opinion. Um, Carrie, seeing your system versus what my upline is doing right now is night and day. Thank you for speaking your truth and making your system accessible to all. Ah, oh, thank you, Carrie. Done. Okay, thanks. The units are already helping me. Great. I stalled out and was filled with fear. I'm ready. Now the universe will provide the money. Fixed income. It's a, You're okay. Listen, your first sentence was gold. The universe will provide the money. I remember when, this is an affirmation, I remember when the universe provided me money for this. That's Say that and believe it. Say that and believe it. Feel it. Feel that you're, you're watching the course. Feel that you're watching the videos. I remember when you guys, it's the easiest trick because you know how when you try to say I am this right, like I am a billionaire or something. Right. And your mind is immediately like, nope, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> right. Um, I am statements are fantastic, but you have to believe them first. So there's a trick. And what Bob does is he's one of his tricks is I remember when. I remember when, and that's how, that's how Herman came home. I believe that's how Herman came, came Herman came home. Cause I was standing upstairs for those of you that don't know. Oh my word. Did I just, goodness. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was embarrassing. um, I remember when I was standing upstairs and, um, and Herman was missing. If you guys don't know, Herman was missing for a while. Oh, you're over there. What are you doing, buddy? Um, he was missing for a few days. And it was scary. It was cold outside. And he's just a little Pomeranian. You want to come up here, buddy? Um, here, buddy man. We're going to talk about you. We're going to talk about you. Yes. Um, and he was he was lost for a few days. And I stood upstairs, right? And and I just stood there. I was bawling. And I just said, I remember when Herman came home. 
and I felt his, it was just like this. I felt his fur just like this on his back. I remember the feeling of like, I felt it. I remember the feeling of his fur in my hand. I remembered hearing his little like tappy toes follow me all around the house. I remembered all of that stuff. And two days later, he came home. All right, buddy. Okay. Um, so that's, that's, I remember when it's a trick, you guys, it's a trick. It's helpful. Um, let's see, Sarah. And that's not the us line Gary wants for us. Exactly. Carrie hashtag. I don't curtsy to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Diane, thank you so much. The rank thing is such a big click. Sometimes it is counterproductive. I really believe that it is. I really, really, really believe that it is um, because what I see, not everybody is this way and I don't ever assume negative intent. I always, always, always assume positive intent. Sometimes the vibe that comes across is better than like on these trips in the different ranks are sort of like, you know, like you said, clicked off. And there's there's sometimes a vibe that is like that. And it's just like, you know, I'm, I don't I don't care. Right. But it could be hurtful to somebody that does. And uh, that's just I'm I'm like always for the underdog. <laughs> I am always for the underdog and I always will be for the underdog. Um Sarah, Mary said that exact same thing today. And yep, I was a star. Oh, I love it. Dawn, I do. Millie, thumbs up and that face. Oh, Herman's face. Sarah, yes, we need a visual aid for Herman's stories. <laughs> and absolutely. Oh, man. Okay, you guys, what questions do you have? Or do you have any questions? I'm just checking to see if there is any questions on there and there are not all right i'm gonna give you a few more seconds to ask questions and then i'm gonna pop out of here oh if you haven't um if you are wanting to do 20 and 30 make sure that you get in by 8 a.m central standard time tomorrow because it's uh we're shutting the doors until the middle of march it's not going away or anything we're just shutting the doors because momentum is important especially with 20 and 30 and so we have to shut the doors and then reopen them right before it starts again. So that's um, that's why we're doing that. But uh, make sure you get in right now if you're wanting to get in right now. So, all right, you guys, I am going to pop out of here. You have an awesome night and I will see you next time.